All right, well, new look. Already washed her off. Dried her. Got her all cleaned up. Oh, can't see her right now, but I'm getting the milker off the milk machine. I'm running the hose through yet. Let's hope this doesn't move too much while I'm wobbling around on with my little stool here. All right, pull up on the plunger deal. The fold on. Hold one of the suckers. In, in. There's those three. First call of the day. The scripter. And we got milk rolling. <laughs> Sorry for the turtles, I bet everyone just got a little dizzy. Well, anyways, this is what it looks like from the underside. Milk flowing down through. See the milk flowing through. Oh shoot, where's my hand? See the milk flowing down through this one. Let's see it coming out of this one. Come over here. See it coming out of that one and that one. There's all four quarters flowing. Come back. Put you guys down so you quit getting dizzy. Pull this bad man to jam off here. And yeah, this is a great fun of milking in the morning. Take you up here. Here, let me spin it around. Whoo, that was butter. Got my leg here to keep it straight. See that? No milk coming really. Give it a little weight. Boom, milk flow. You really see it down in that part of the hose. Flood off, slows down to damn near nothing. Put a little pressure back on, back to flowing good. Like I've said in previous videos, the this part on a dare on a commercial operation of stainless steel has a little more weight to it, so you don't have to do this quite so much. Every now and then you'd get a cow; they would have a quarter that wouldn't want to milk out. You'd actually bend this one up, you'd bend this one up, you'd bend this one up. It was always this back quarter on this cow. That I'm talking about. I don't remember a number anymore. It's been shit 10 years since I've milked that cow. But uh, we'd put them all and we'd only have this one and we'd let everything hang off that one teat. And that's how we'd get her to milk out that last quarter. On commercial farms, you don't have calves to drink the milk from the mom. So if you don't get all the milk out, you'll end up with mastitis. It's a curdling of the milk in the butter. And uh, comes out all clumpy and shitty, so yeah. Mama cow here. She slowed down, but she's still milking. Like I said, I put just enough pressure to turn the tips of my fingers white. And that's how much pressure it needs, which really is not that much. Once that back one quits running milk, I'll go through and pull on each individual one individually and see if it doesn't start if she doesn't start producing a lot more or dropping more. Oh, because that front teat over here on this side is full. That one's getting pretty good. This one right here. See? Give that teat a little pull. Almost all the milk you're seeing come through there is from that one quarter. Obviously cows have four teats, so they have four quarters. And we just keep holding this one. Yes, I was a young dumb kid at one point in time with a tattoo machine. I was studying to be a tattoo apprentice. Seventh tattoo I'd ever done, first one on me ever. As in no one else had ever gave me a tattoo until I gave myself one right there. Yeah, not a good idea. 
your 19 year old, 20 year old son comes home and goes, I'm going to get a tattoo machine, learn to be a tattoo artist. Tell him to practice on someone other than himself. Or if he does practice, practice on like your upper thigh here where no one's ever going to see it. I got a, I got a full leg of flowers right here. I really liked tattooing flowers. Oh. Second fucking flow started. Second flow started. This cow used to take me 20 to 25 minutes to milk out by hand. We're at five minutes worth of milking now. All right, Mama Cow. That'll do, baby girl. You can give the rest a red cap. Thank you.